Hey guys, it's Chris. This is an Amiga 600 with the new A630 that I just put in. But we're going to take it all apart. Why? Because of what's in this magic box. Because you read the title, you know what the heck it is. This is the Pi Storm 600. I got this from Mr. Lee in the United Kingdom, so thank you for that. Where can you get yours? Uh, I'm going to provide some links in the description. This is a special build that Lee made a certain number of, and I purchased one. They will be for sale on a select few website stores, but prices range depending on components. This was a little bit over $50 US uh, with the conversion rate to the British uh, pound and, and the US dollar running the toilet. You know that old chestnut. So what is it? It is a Pi Storm board for the Amiga 600 with wrong side with an additional 5 volt USB power to give your Pi some power if you're getting brownouts the little lightning bolt I'm gonna be using my Raspberry Pi 02 W this is configured with emu 68 this goes in a little weird you're thinking hey I'm gonna just stick this in and it's gonna be nice and hunky-dory like that because that would fit compact and be all nice and new no there's a little word on here that says if you can read this you get your Pi in backwards so it actually goes in like this. This will then clip over the 68,000 just like every other accelerator in RAM does and you will be able to see some magic of the bottom of the socket. doesn't really matter. And here's a nice picture to show you that you have to put it in that way. Now in the picture it's using a 3A. I'm using a 02W with some heat sinks because it runs fine for what I need it and this also uh, holds a nice 3.3 volt let me get the 600 apart, the A630 that we just put in out, and we'll do an assembly, and you'll see me snap it in. Okay, so here we go. The battle for McDonald's was taking place off camera. I apologize. This is the A630 Amiga 600 accelerator. 64 megs of 32-bit fast RAM. 68030. No FPU. Comes with a cooling fan. This magic sauce back here is the... Uh, RGB to HDMI with another Raspberry Pi on it. So this is going to be a triple CPU computer, if you think about it. A triple core. I did off-camera after the 630 video, which may or may not have came out already, desolder the thingamabobber. That thing. What the heck is it called? I don't know. My brain's gone. Composite? A component? What? A RF thing. Yep, that's it. So I could uh, shove the HDMI cable out the back. I uh, was going to, you know, put a little fancy 3D printed thing in the hole and I just didn't feel like doing that. Because this is so freaking close, there's a felt pad on my crystal, like the instructions say. This is a wonderful accelerator. If you're looking for a great accelerator uh, besides the Pi Storm, go for the A630. No more Furia Hell. You can see here the uh, RGB to HDMI from A1K. This is the one that uh, Doug Tenmark provided to me and it kept falling off. So you can see I shot it full of hot snot after I put it down and she's been great ever since. To install anything on an Amiga 600, here's your 68000 right here. Everything in the jungle snaps over the 68000 and sometimes uh, they have a little cutout on one of the ridges depending on your manufacturer. I know the Furia did because it had a capacitor. Simply line this up and there you go. That's it. Now are you worried about chip clearance? You know, nothing's hitting at all. There is two holes for stability stands if you want to put some thread inserts there for in case you're having an issue. Or Okay so my situation is unique. You can see I have the HDMI coming out this way. I can also have another one for the RGB to HDMI. But for now, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the DB20 whatever from, uh, let me see if I can shove that in there. There you go. That's great. Alright, I'm going to fold my keyboard. I'm going to plug my floppy back in first. Now, you might be tempted to uh, plug a 12 volt power into this rail. I wouldn't do that if I were you. It does say warning. When applying additional power, make sure it's taken from the Amiga itself. Uh, also, take power from the motherboard's floppy connector. Don't use an external 5 volt or USB or apply, or apply 12 volt to the wrong pin. You're going to fry everything. 
do not power anything from this pin. So don't go plug in your floppy in here. You can use a splitter, a Berg splitter, if you wanted to give this extra power. If you're running low on the horsepower, we're going to carefully fold this back over, and I don't have to worry about the A630 fan chopping my keyboard connector up, so we'll just go like that. For my RGB, I'm going to be using the DB23 to VGA because this Dell here will do both energizing. Okay, so it's going to load my original workbench with the Pi Storm. And didn't that load freaking quick? Why? Because it's Emu 68. Emu 68 with 321. Cool. Now I'm not going to get into RTG stuff because I didn't set it up. Yeah, I didn't set the Pi Storm drivers up. My apologies on that. Right now it's using my internal CF and booting from that. It's Emu 68, so it's just it was just set up for horsepower, just the processor itself, not virtual hard drives. I'm still using my compact flash card. So let's go into work and we're gonna run the normal because it seems that's all I run. It's just info. So it's coming off as a 68040 with a 882. 040 MMU not in use. All the burst is on except for copy back. That's fine. Hit it. Now this is like El Cheapo Pi Storm. This is just me slapping it together. Emu 68, probably an old core. It was in my mini MIG and I just grabbed it and threw it in here. It has no hard drives configured. If I do load off of the Pi Storm itself, you can guarantee this is going to be way faster. Right now at 2.7 times its chip speed. Uh, in comparison to itself, I'm 303 times faster than itself. That is awesome. So, Pi Storm, totally capable on the Amiga 600. I do have the benefit of the Pi Storm RAM. I'm running a 02W, okay? Which is about equivalent to a 3A with some more RAM. And it's a lot smaller footprint, and you can really give it the onions and it will do just fine. So this is not meant to be a super duper build. Um, I am going to flip this to HDMI just to show you that it is Emu 68. We'll see the logo. The older core has this. The newer one has some newer stuff. But that's the RTG mode of the Pi Storm. And if I put the RTG drivers on there, or if I even load caffeine or something like that, it would boot, where am I going, VGA, it would boot right up. If I had an additional cable for the micro HDMI to HDMI, I could actually run my uh, RTG to RGB to HDMI over my HDMI port for the Amiga native video. Um, for now, it is not. So I didn't set any of the buttons on the Pi 6 or the yeah the RGB to HDMI for this unit. I keep saying I'm going to, and I have the button. I just have to do something with it, make a plate or something for the back. I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm in all these machines more than Kanye was in Kim, so your results may vary. So you know how it is. You're in and out of your Amigas a lot. I shouldn't even put the screws in them, but I put them on the shelf and I would lose and knock and break and you know me. So this is the RGB to HDMI and it will provide me with everything I need to. So like demos, there's nine fingers, hit it. Sound provided by the Daboom TV. Now I'm NTSC, so you're gonna notice I have some whoop, little bit off. I don't really have a lot of stuff on this 600, but it works totally fine. HDMI video on the Amiga side, I can set this up, like I said, either caffeine, you can go coffin, some people have imported Pimiga to Emu 68. That's great, I mean, rock on, make it your own. My quick review of this isn't for Caffeine or Pimiga or, or Coffin or uh, Custom Build Emu 68 Hard Drive Pimped RTG. No, I just want to show you that the Pi Storm is available for the Amiga 600. This is my hard drive, my compact flash card in here it's booting off of. I have configured nothing. It's using my 321 ROM that is built in. Like I said, I just flashed Emu 68 to the card 
and stuck it in that pie for the mini mig and that's all I did with it. If I were to carve out the uh, type 76 partitions like I've shown in my previous videos on setting up EMU 68 um, you could do that too and make yourself a totally pimped out machine HDMI what whatever so it is RTG capable I just don't have the drivers on here I don't think I have much of anything on here so we're gonna try PCM CIA access with the Amiga 600 Pi Storm here we go. This is a four. Let's do the 512 megabyte card first. Compact flash. This is a Unigen compact flash card. Here we go. Huh. I don't have any compact flash. All right. That's not good. Let's try the four gig card. In. Huh. It's mounted, but it's not. Uh, not picking up the compact flash card. Let me boot with it in. I don't know. Magic sauce. Like I said, this is new to me. I'm just checking it out so you can enjoy it too. Is it worth getting? I think it's worth getting because Amiga 600 accelerators, while the cheapest of the vast majority of them, Pi Storms are dirt cheap in comparison to like a 3640 for your 3000 tower. It's crazy. So PCMCIA is a no-go. Or I could run Mushashi, which I would have to take the 1000 apart to get its card out. Or flash another one. If you're experiencing under voltage issues, you can provide additional power to the device, connecting it to the Amiga's floppy power using a splitter cable. You may, if you're experiencing throttling issues. Measure your 5 volt rail and make sure your power supply is good. Brand new one. To make sure you're at least getting 4.75 to 5.25 to run reliably. If your 5 volt rail is too low, use a modern power supply or a mean well that have an adjustable 5 volt rail. If you're using RTG with a Pi 3A, you're going to find some HDMI connectors hit the back of the case. Use an HDMI which is a slim or a 90 degree connector. Alternatively, use a 02W which gives you more space and uses less power at a slight per performance cost. Oh, here we go. Here's the issue. Currently, MapROM does not work with Linux-based Mushashi, so a physical ROM would, not, would be required. This should not be an issue with EMU68. MapROM should work as expected. If you have any feedback, ideas for improvements, or encounter any issues, please feel free to post in the PyStorm600 channel on the Discord server. Thanks, Lima Roo. So anyway, there are some bugs. It's not perfect, but we're going to get it worked out. Not me, them. I just buy stuff, review it, so you can check it out. So this has been a quick PyStorm 600 for the Amiga 600. And that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something.